Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is going to be a really short one on what these advanced class fields are and how we can use them in our Flatsome designs. So let's jump straight into this demo page that I've created here. You can see that all I've got is a row with two columns and some text in it. They're completely identical at this point. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the options of this column here. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom to this class field. Now what this field allows us to do is to give this column a unique value. So we can then target some CSS that will only apply to this column not to this column. So let me show you what I mean. If I call this text red col. Now there is a general convention of naming these kind of fields. Normally they'll be you kind of shorten words and then just put dashes between them. There are some do's and don'ts with different characters and things. So to be on the safe side, I'd highly recommend that you stick to this kind of naming convention, but it is really important that it is completely unique. Now what we're going to do is I'm just going to highlight this and copy it. Hit update and head over to the additional CSS section. This isn't going to be a comprehensive guide on CSS because it's a huge subject and I could spend hours just on that alone. All I'm going to do is show you some basics just to demonstrate how you would use those class fields to narrow down your CSS. So if I put in P, open and close bracket, color red, you see it changes all of the paragraph text to red. That's what we're doing with this P that just targets paragraph elements. So if we had an H1 here and H2, for example, that would still be the default color. But what we can do, obviously, we only want the text on the left inside of this column to be read in this example. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our class value that we've put in here. And in before the P, I'm going to put full stop and then paste in that value space. There you go. Now you can see all I've done there is basically narrow down that CSS. So it looks inside that first element of text red col. And then it looks at the paragraph element and then it looks at the CSS that we've then added to it. It's almost like a file directory on your computer. If you imagine that you've got a, a file inside your documents folder, there might be another file, a folder inside of your documents folder that actually contains that file. So you're just creating a path for the CSS to follow essentially. Um, so once again, look, if we take this back out, all the text is red. If we put it in, just our, uh, just our column that we've created with that custom field is then anything inside that is red. So I hope that makes sense and I hope that's given you some insight on how you can use these fields. Like I say, it's not a comprehensive guide on CSS so that's a really, really in-depth topic. But do some research on some, on YouTube and things if, if you're new to CSS um, and just try it out. You, the, the way I learned CSS was literally just trial and error. Some things would work, some things wouldn't um, and eventually got to the point where I'm fairly confident that I, I can change basically anything on a page with some CSS now fairly easily. So yeah, that's it guys. Subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.